Ten hours after the attack from Gaza began, Palestinians were still rampaging through a Jewish border community. Pillaging, destroying and hunting Israelis. Behind one house, they find a terrified mother trying to protect her children. In the first the time that I saw the picture, I couldn't believe, I couldn't, couldn't comprehend what I saw. And then I look at another pictures, and it's, it was very clear. That's, that this is my cousin, Shiri, and the two little children. Is the, uh, Kfir is nine months old, and Ariel is four years old. Being held by Hamas, there is blood on the blanket, there is blood on the kidnappers. It wasn't just Yossi's cousin and her children. Three generations of this family have been taken. Shiri and Yadin Bibas, their young sons Ariel and Kafir, and her father and mother, who has Parkinson's, kidnapped without her medication. Their relatives are beside themselves with worry. My fears is that, that they separated them, that they killed them, that they are injured, that we won't see them again, that we won't even get in a piece of information with them anymore and we will stay in this blank forever. What is it like to feel like this? It's like a lion in a cage. I'm, 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 I'm walking back and forth in my house, uh, waiting for, for something to happen, waiting for somebody to call me to say that they, they, they have any information for my family, waiting for somebody to call me from the IDF to say that they need my help and, and recruit me. And you want to go and fight? And I want to go and fight. I want to go to help my country. I want to do whatever I can. And I know that all my friends and all the people that I know will do the same thing. The same footage shows other Israeli civilians on this kibbutz being abducted by Palestinians and forced back to Gaza. This is late afternoon. The attacks began in early morning. But apart from deserted tanks, there is still no sign of the Israeli army. Yossi and many others want answers about how that could happen. We had defense on Gaza, we had walls on Gaza, we had the intelligence, we have the, the military, we have planes, we have helicopters, we have tanks, we have everything. And, and the IDF, for the first couple of hours, it's like the, we, we had no army. The IDF wasn't exist. As many as 100 Israelis were seized and taken to Gaza that day, say their government. Nothing has been heard of them since. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Ashdod, Southern Israel.